Hello everyone, my name is Richie and welcome back to another video today. Join me on SCR again because you keep asking for it, you keep wanting to see more SCR videos and here we go, I'm going to give you another one. Yep, so for weeks and weeks I keep saying, Richie, when are you going to do SCR again? When are you going to do it again? When are you going to play it again? And I'll, I'll give you another episode, I keep swearing I'm not going to play it, but I'll give you another episode. And in today's episode, we're going to drive the waterline because I finally saved up an, uh, enough coins to get the waterline train and the class 730. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a nice little evening run uh, between um, a couple of stations, Nuri and another station. I, f I forget what they're called. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to drive the class 730 and give a go, uh, give a go of the waterline. So let's do it. Right, so let's play. Cool. Right, we want to be a driver. Of course we do. Let's do that. And uh, once it loads, we can select waterline. There you go. Wonderful. So the waterline, you get all sorts of stuff. Obviously, you get the 730, which is what we'll be driving today. And we'll be doing new read to Glean, green slate, green slate, uh, new read to green slate. Um, but you do have all these other services uh, run by the class 313. There you go. The 171. Um, which is plainly a 170. Uh, we've got a 319, 195. You've got all sorts of stuff going on there, which is quite nice. But obviously, I've got the 730, uh, and then I'll save up for some of these trains later on. I do want to save up for the Air Link and the Express at some point, but that'll take a bit of time. So, let's jump into the class 730. We're going to jump in at probably Nuri, Nuri Depot. I know that's one. Uh, that's, yeah, Nuri Side in that one. We're going to jump in there, get to Nuri, and then we're going to head to Greenslade and give a go of the wonderful waterline. Right, so here we go. This is our Class 730, which has uh, recently taken over the um, the Birmingham Cross City. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, quite fitting, really, because we did a farewell to the Class 323, and this is the closest we're going to get to uh, representing or running the Class 730 in a game. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's get going uh, and get into our cab. There we go. Oh, the cab's funky, isn't it? I just want to make sure I've got a green light. Well, I've got a white light. I don't actually know what that means, but I'm just going to go and hope for the best. Uh, yeah, the cab's interesting. Uh, very detailed, I must admit, um, but very narrow. See, this is the thing. If it came to Trains in World, this would be uh, an interesting view because it'd be a bit similar to um, the 385 where you can't really see much what's going on. But that's the beauty of new, uh, new British trains, that you can't really see any of them. You can't see anything out of them. Anyway, right, we've got 0 0.2 miles to Newry. And we've got double yellow, so let's just maybe just coast at about 20 mile an hour, because I think we've probably got something up ahead, and we don't want to spad, not so soon. Here we go, this looks like new re up ahead, so let's uh, let's think about slowing down shortly. I mean, we're coming slow enough into the into the platform, we should be okay, so let's, uh, let's put our brakes in there, get down to 15, because that's a nice gentle stop, I think. Yeah, there you go, we're uh, subject to a 15 mile an hour speed limit anyway, so I, uh, I thought correct there, right. We're coming into a bay platform here, which is quite cool. Stop alongside the platform. I certainly will do. Uh, right, let's slow down, not hit the buffers, uh, because that's not good. If you hit the buffers in this, you eat them, and uh, you have to go back to square one. So let's stop there. Cool. Excellent stuff. Lovely jubbly. Right, and let's open the doors on the left-hand side. I always forget how to unlock the doors. Uh, it's not that button. Uh, but there's a map. We'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, how do you open the button, uh, the doors again? I'm just going to press it because I've forgotten. It's been a, it's been a couple of months. Uh, stop closer to the bu uh, buffers to terminate. Oh, okay. That's fine. This is where I mess it up now. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, unlock the doors. Cool, right. It has been a little while since I've um, played SCR. I won't lie to you. I have been on a two-week break. And um, I was playing a lot of Trains in World before then, so it's been a little while since I've jumped into SCR, but uh, it's always fun to jump back into this game. I do find it quite fun. Uh, let's have a look at this wonderful Class 730 from the outside. Nice blue livery is the, uh, the waterline. A beautiful new blue livery. <laughs> cool, right. Uh, 2 minutes and 20 seconds, that's good. Right, that's that video. No, I'm joking. Uh, we need to carry on in the next leg towards Greenslade, which is about 12 minutes. Not too long of a service, uh, which is a decent... Decent length. Right, we need to look at the map. How do I do that again? Uh, there we go. Okay, so we're going down here. Okay. I'm trying to show you the map, but the, uh, the announcements are too loud. Anyway, let's get in, and then I want to have a look at the map again. So we've got New Re up here, which is where we are now. We're going to go down to Eden Eden Quarry, or Eden Quay, or what do you want to... What was it called? Eden... 
Eden Key, Eden Quay, what a, <laughs> Eden Quay, what a silly, what a silly sausage. Uh, Faraday Road, West Benton, Benton, which I know all too well, Port Benton, Morganstown Docks, Whitney Green and Glen, Green Slade. So we're going down this way, but you can go down towards the airport and down to Esterfield. I've not been down this way before, so it'll be interesting to have a little look at that. And Connolly, I've never been to Connolly either. So yeah, cool, a nice little um, service. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Uh, cancel. I want to just get off the map. Uh, and we're up to 100 mile an hour, so let's full throttle, let's go. I mean, we're only 0.75 miles away from our next stop, so let's go, go, go. And just like that, we're approaching Eden Key very, very quickly. Uh, I did slow down to 60 mile an hour because I don't know how good the brakes are on the Class 730. I don't, I, I would imagine they're quite decent because it's a new train, but, you know, you can never, you can never tell with these new trains. Sometimes they've got really good brakes and sometimes they're absolutely naff. So I think we're doing all right there, you know. We're doing okay. Whistleboard. Oh, strong horn. Very strong horn. Right, we're coming into the platform. Uh, let's approach it at 20 mile an hour and go right to the end of the platform. That should be nice and good. Cool. Right. Slow down there. There's the stop car marker. So that should be jobs are good in, I think. Cool. Right. I need to remember how to how do you open the doors? Was it triangle? There you go. Wonderful. So this is a station. This is Eden Key. Um, we've got something down there. What does it say down there? Um, bases for bases for aces. There you go. Frost E Devs. There you go. Got some shops down there. Um, got some stuff going on down there. Very um, interesting architecture of the houses over there. That's fine. Uh, very nice looking station too. Right. Let's get back in our cab and let's get going. Is this a five car train? I didn't even notice that. Let's have a little look. Is it five cars? Uh, one, two, three. Oh, it's free. Okay. Well, I don't know where I got the five car thing from. Going across the river as well. Look at that. I've got a nice colourful few buildings over there too. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Because we're near Benton, is that like representing some of the tower blocks in uh, in Birmingham? Because I know some tower blocks have lights at the top of them. Uh, we need to slow down a bit because I'm going a bit too quick around this corner. Far too quick around this corner. We're only half a mile away. So let's slow down a little bit. Let's get down to 50 because we don't want to break anything here. You know, we don't, we don't want to mess anything up. So let's slow down. All right, calm down, chill out. Next stop is Faraday Road. We've got uh, what looks like to be a, a clock over there. You see, there you go, it's over there. Lovely stuff, cool. I'm enjoying this. This is quite nice. Very, uh, very quick services, which is uh, what I like. I like a short run because I've got the attention span of a peanut. Right, let's slow down, down to 40 as we approach the station. Whistleboard, wonderful. Uh, let's get down to 20 now. I like to approach the stations at 20 because uh, I've got this problem where there's a certain station and some of you all know that I approach way too quickly and I never seem to stop at. And there's many, many clips of me shooting that station, right, or overshooting that station or just completely missing the station. And you'll know which one I'm on about. Uh, if you know, you know. This is indeed Faraday Road. So this is quite a big station. And we've got another train over here. We've got another 7.30. Let's... Uh, Wonder if they'll honk back. Probably not. Um, got a waterline branded uh, building up here, which is quite cool. And what's it say there? Uh, Dodgy Dave's driveway. Right. <laughs> right. Let's lock the doors. Lovely jubbly. Uh, right. We're doing all right here. You know, we're not doing too bad for time. Let's get going. Let's get up to. Uh, we've got half a mile, so let's get up to 60 mile an hour. That should be okay. We should be fine there. Should be just good. Okay. West Benton is next, so the station before Birmingham New Street, as I call it, uh, which is very cool. What's it say up there? West, ben West Benton Pet Supplies. Nice. Okay, cool. Right, let's get going. Next stop is West Benton. Let's do this. And just like that, we are approaching West Benton, which I think is that, is that like a little station? Um, because I think if you go the other way, you're back towards the airport. I'm not too sure. Um, I, I forget what the actual map looks like. Whistleboard. There you go. Let's deafen everyone. Um, right, where's the station? There it is. So down to 20, nice gentle stop, right, cool, let's slow down a bit more, there we go, there's a free car stop marker there, which jobs are good in, lovely jubbly, right, cool, and we're on time, oh no we're not, we're delayed, that's fine, it's okay, we're too, we're too busy admiring the scenery, that's why we're late, uh, this is West Benton, uh, and then Benton's through there somewhere, uh, yeah, nice, nice little station this, oh it's just dawned on me, I know where we are, we've got someone else going past here, what's this, hello? You gonna whistle back? 
No, I'm fine. Uh, I know where we are, because sometimes we pass the station. Uh, I've passed the station before heading into Benton. I, w I wonder what that is. That's what this station is, so um, part of the water line. Is it only the water line that calls at West Benton, or is there other services there? I, I don't actually know. Uh, anyway, we're, we're on the approach into Benton. Um, we are late, fashionably late, because that's how I, how I run things. I start off really early, and then I end up messing it up. I know that the approach into Benton is about 30 mile an hour, so uh, what's this? What's all this stuff going on here? Oh, one, uh, 166 there. Cool. Right, let's, uh, let's get into Benton. Oh, we've got a very busy Benton tonight. Let's have a look at this. We've got a HST leaving there, an express train. We've got another train leaving in the distance over there. There's plenty of stuff going on at Benton tonight. I'm very busy tonight. Right, we're approaching into platform 12, I think. Is this platform 12 or platform 1? I'm not too sure. I'll find out. Platform, hold on, platform 1. There we go. Wrong side. So let's get in. Uh, let's slow down there. There's our free car uh, stop marker there. Let's stop there. And I'm hoping it doesn't crash when you get into Benton, because it usually does for me. Ah, look at that. That's uh, that's decent. I'll knock your doors. Sorry. Yeah, Newry to Connolly in nine minutes. That's swift. Swift service on the waterline. So... What is the purpose of the water line? Like, is it, obviously, it's serving, like, the water, let's say. But is the actual map of SCR, like, does a lot of it go along the coast with harbours and whatever else? Is that how it sort of works? Is it a bit similar to, like, um, like the Docklands, like, railway or whatever, where you have a service that goes along the Thames? Is it a river? Is it a sea? You know, what is it? Cause I don't actually know what the overview of the map looks like. Let me know. Right, as we leave Benton, we're on our way to Port Benton, which is the next stop, and we've also got a double yellow, so I'm going to think about slowing down and going to 20, because uh, we might have a red signal coming up. Oh, no, we've got a green. That's fine. Okay, that's that's all right. I'm happy with that. Got something else coming in there. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got a 158 there. Wonderful stuff. And uh, is that... We've got someone else coming in. Yeah, we've got a 707. 707 and a 158. Wonderful stuff. Very, very busy tonight. Very nice to see. See, like I've said before, I quite like SCR because, you know, those that can't quite afford Train Sim World or Train Sim Classic or whatever, you know, this is free and it's easily accessible for, you know, a, a younger generation of rail fans. So it's really nice to see that there's something out there for, you know, an audience of rail fans that want to get into train simulators but can't quite afford, the, you know, the fully fledged ones. So it's very nice and it's very detailed as well. Anyway, this is Port Benton. So let's get down to 20 miles an hour. That should be all good, hopefully. This is a very uh, this is a very gentle stop coming into Port Benton. So we'll stop there. That should be all right. We should be okay there. We're two and a half minutes late, which is great. That's fine. All right. That's okay. Let's unlock the doors. Wonderful. So this is Port Benton, and we've got another uh, another thing over there. Is that a 170? Or is that a 171? Let's have a look. I can't quite find out. There's not like a free camera that you can go into, which is a shame. Visit Bodin, Department of Imports. Okay. Nice. So there's some adverts there. Oh, got a nice little station building in there, like a little concourse. And it's got ticket gates and stuff. That's quite cool. Right, let's lock the doors and get going to Morganstown. Uh, how many stations have we got left? Morganstown, Docks, Whitney Green and Greenslade. So we've got a couple more stations to go. Um, so quite a short run. Um, you know, the longest run I've done on this is by the sea to Stepford Central, and that's about 50 minutes. That's a, that's a decent route, that. Um, but this is, you know, quite a nice short service, just to give it a go. Um, and I obviously, oh, is this the station? Oh, this is the station. Slow down, slow down. Oh, well, we're not stopping there. Um, well, a bit of an overshoot. Yeah, well, whoops. We're not stopping there. Sorry, passengers. We're not stopping at Morganstown Docks because it's um, a weird station that's on the top of a hill. And, um, yeah, the, the train driver didn't see it. Anyway, right, next stop is Whitney Green. So, you know, we've skipped a station and we've not even made any time up, which is good. That's uh, very typical of me, isn't it? <laughs> oh, what's this that we're going past? Is this a 195? I think it is. Looks like it. Looks like the Northern stock. Anyway, right, let's uh, get back in. I must admit, the livery looks a bit like uh, the Northern livery. Just a bit like the old Northern livery. I don't know. I'm not too sure what it's meant to represent, but let's slow down for Whitney Green. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, let's, let's full brakes. Full brakes. Let's not overshoot this one, okay? We're doing so well. Oh, there's a 7.30 stop marker there. Well, there we go. Cool. Right, uh, move forward. Okay, that's fine. We can move forward a little bit. Uh, just a tiny bit though, we don't want to completely overshoot it. Let's step, stop next to where it says 7.30, that'll be a good sign, wouldn't it? Let's open the doors. Cool. Right, this is Whitney Green. 
One thing I do wish with SCR is that, similar with Trains in World, you could get up and have a look around the stations and stuff and collect stuff. That'd be quite cool. I know that obviously there's a passenger mode, but you have to go back into the main menu and then become a passenger. It'd be cool if you could seamlessly become a passenger. That'd be really cool. Uh, right, let's lock the doors and let's get going. Got 0.8 miles to our final stop of Greenslade, and I must admit, I've really enjoyed this. Right, here we go. We're on the approach into Greenslade. So let's get down to 40 mile an hour. Um, because I think most of the approaches into stations are about 30 or 15, I always forget. Uh, maybe get down to, oh, hold on, get down to 20 as we slowly approach into, in fact, no, that's a bit too slow, maybe 25? What's that saying? That's saying 45, so we can probably, it's probably not a terminus station, I'm not actually too sure. Um, let's slow down a bit more, back down to 20, that should be okay. Is it a terminus station? I can't quite tell. Oh, okay, so we're switching tracks now, which I think it looks like a terminal section. I really can't tell. It's dark. Oh, hold on. Should we zoom in? There you go. I can see buffers. Right. I forgot I could zoom in. <laughs> uh, 15 mile an hour. There you go. Right. Let's slowly get into Greenslade because we don't want to eat the buffers and cause this whole video to be completely redundant. So uh, slow down a bit more. Right. Maybe down to five because uh, the 7.30 wants you to be in the platforms, doesn't it? You can't stop too far away once it shouts at you. Right, stop there. That should be jobs a good one. Hopefully. Yeah, that should be all right. Beautiful stuff. And there we go. That is Greenslade. This is a really nice station, actually. I quite like this. Very nice. Very nice bit of modelling. So this would now go on back towards Newry, which we probably could do. Um, well, I'll probably do in my own time um, because I'm going to leave this video here. I've quite enjoyed that. How did we do? We were late by four minutes. That's, you know, typical of me. Uh, we took 15 minutes and 30 seconds and we stopped everywhere but Morganstown's do uh, Morganstown Dock. Uh, and we completed the schedule at Greenslade and we got 45 points. Yeah, we did all right there. Right, there we go, I've selected the next leg. I think I'm going to go up to Newry by myself because I've quite enjoyed that. I really enjoyed having a look at the uh, water line. It's very nice that you've got different types of services. Obviously, you've got the, uh, you've got the, what do you call it, the connect services, which are kind of everywhere. You've got the express, which I'm yet to give a go. I do want to give them a go. Got water line, which is very unique. And the, uh, there's airport runs too, which I need to get my, uh, get my hands on. So it's very nice that I'm starting to earn more points and giving a go with different types of services in SCR. It's a... Uh, opening my eyes to the uh, wonderful world that is Stepford County Railway. So yeah, with all that said and done, that was the waterline. Let me know what you think of it. Um, I've quite enjoyed it. So with all that said and done, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. If you're new, I'd massively appreciate it. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.